Today you're going to be learning about the count on to add strategy. This is a great strategy uh, to utilize a, when you're doing addition problems. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to be taking a look at how you can add within 10 and use counting or counting back to solve problems. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's work through the first problem. All right, so the first thing is if we encounter a problem where it says find 6 plus 1, we can count on to add. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to first start with that 6. So take the group of 6. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to go ahead and put 6 in my mind. I'm going to start counting at 6. So I start with that bigger number, which is that 6. So I'm going to start at 6, and then I'm going to count, count on to add. So I'm going to say 6, and then I'm going to count on one more. So that would be 7. So 6 plus 1 equals 7. So let's go ahead and work through a few more of these. Again, the first step is to take that bigger number. So here we have find 5 plus 3, and we're going to count on to add that. So I'm going to start with that bigger number, which is 5. So I'm going to put 5 in my mind. So I know I have 5, and here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I put 5 in my mind, and now I'm going to count on 3 more. So 5, so here would be 6. Six, seven, and then eight. So actually, have, you can see that there's one, two, three, just like that three. But all I did is count it on. So I went, put five in my mind, and then I went six, seven, eight. So the answer is eight. So the big thing is making sure you get in your, you start with that bigger number, and then you count on however many. So we went started at five, and then we went one, two, three. So I went six, seven, eight. So we'll work through another one. Here we have find four plus two, draw lines and count on. So here we have here we have our four, and I'm gonna count with those lines. So I put that four in my mind, like I've said before. So I start with four, there's four. Now I'm going to say five and six so five six so four plus two equals six let's work through another one all right so we have six plus three in your mind you put that group of six that bigger number so there's six and then we're going to go six seven eight and then you guessed it it is nine so six so 6 plus 3 equals 9. That's right. Let's work through another one. How many blocks in all? Count on to add. So again, we put that bigger number in our mind. Here is our blocks. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks. So then I know it would be 6, 7, 8. So 6 seven and then eight so then I know five plus three equals eight that's right all right let's move on to our next one here we have seven small beads and one big bead how many beads in all so I start with that bigger number. I start with that seven. So I put seven in my mind. Here's a group of seven right there. And then I'm gonna add that one more. Seven plus one would be seven. And then we get to eight. So we add that one more bead, which would be eight. Okay, now we have a little bit more challenging one. On this one it says count on to add. So we don't have any pictures or shapes. So we have to get our own pictures and shapes and add those on here. So I'm going to go ahead and create some dots for this. As I said before, you want to get that first, the bigger number in your mind. So let's get five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's our five dots. 
and then we're going to add our one more dot, right? So 5 plus 1, we can add these all up. So we have 5 right here, right? And then we did the one more. So we know that 5, and then I'm going to count on 5, 6 would be right there. So our answer is 6. So 6 is our answer there. Let's do one more of these. All right. So we have five small hats and two big hats. How many hats in all? If you're thinking in your head, all right, the first thing you need to do is take that bigger number, which is five, right? So we have five. There's our five. And we have five small hats and two big hats. How many hats in all? I know I'm adding these. So I'm adding that five. I'm adding the five right here. And then I'm adding that two right here. I'm seeing how many hats in all. I'm putting these two numbers together because there's five small hats and two big hats. So let's go ahead and do these hats. I'm going to represent the small hats with blue dots and the big hats with red dots. All right, that way we can keep separate. So let's go ahead and get our five small hats. So one, two, three, four, five small hats. All right, now we have two big hats. So I'm going to get that five in my mind, right? So I'm starting at five. Now I'm going to go six seven so i went five which is that and then i went six seven so i know five plus two equals seven and i used the count on strategy to do that so i hope that helps um, when you get to an addition problem you're going to go ahead and find that bigger number in your mind first and then count on to find the answer